So a lot of you guys might have seen on Halcyon's uh, Instagram and stuff, a long time ago I made him a camera rig. This contraption and a lot of people have had questions on it. I figure we just finished up with a shoot. I have my car and I really want to see what it looks like rolling and Ant has his camera rig and everything so we're gonna kind of you know test it out real quick. Figure answer some questions that you guys might have had about the rig itself. For the record uh, it's just me and Cody with two cars so I'm gonna drive and uh attempt to operate it at the same time. Well that sounds illegal. Ant came to me and was like I want to make a camera rig or contraption and he kind of gave me an idea and I just kind of ignored him and this is what we came up with. His idea was okay but I knew we can elaborate on it a little bit more and get some better use out of it and how would you say it's been holding up over the past six months call it? Uh, it's been great. Yeah we've taken it to it, well we've taken it on tracks and it's done a great job. So you're happy with it? Definitely. Cool. Yeah. It's all made out of stainless because this doesn't really ever uh, come off the car and when it does you know it's for main storage otherwise the things in the rain everything and stainless steel it's not gonna rust the little rusting you see is from the the steel bolts that hold the cloud mount on it's all square two frame stainless to weld together into a t-frame and then it's got this little contraption here so we can pinch it anywhere for height has this arm the main arm cloud mount attaches or you can attach it here for the sides to get side shots and then like I said this is the cloud mount, and what's that do? Uh, that absorbs vibration and transfers uh, movement. So right now we have more than enough bands. You typically for rocking, are those making her dance? Yeah. Okay. Though. Typically, when you're rocking like a Sony or say like a DSLR, you probably just only really need to go with one band in each. But we got some track today, and I was too lazy to take them out. <laughs> As you can see, so we're hit, hit bumps. It, these are taking all the weight, transferring it around, and makes it smoother. Nice. We also had to add a pinch bolt to his hitch, so it's not like it's just a, like it's an off-the-shelf hitch, but then we modified it to get rid of a lot of the movement. A lot of people said wrap the tube with gaff tape or something like that. That just gets gummed up. It's a temporary solution. It doesn't. It does not last. So I added like kind of like a, a pinch bolt, you can call it, to the hitch, so that way you can tighten that up, and it just gets rid of more movement. So all that you're seeing there is just the flex of the metal itself. So what camera are you using, and what setup? We have the uh, original DJI Ronin with 40 millimeter extension arms. Wow. Just rocking a A7R2 with the kit lens. Wow, did you say kit lens? Yeah, kit lens champion. What, what's your thoughts on the kit lens? I love it. All right, it's sharp. So while Ant's getting that set up, loading up on the Ronin, and then how do you control that while you're in the car? Uh, the remote. Oh, we got remote. We got remote. Remote. Wow. Bob, yeah. Ant, are those stickers available? Uh, yeah, these stickers are available in limited quantities at thisishealthy.com. And then the other day I picked up the Uber Rare JDM STI front lip. If you ever see the eBay ones, that's kind of what they're replicated off of, but this is a real OEM one from Japan that my friend Solfaz Alex hooked me up with. He's parting out his car, very sad, but I benefited, so thanks for parting out your car, buddy. Still, Enki NTO3s, 18 by 9.5 plus 38s. The headlights I did, which video coming soon, JDM hood scoop, JDM front lip, and Area 1320 front plate delete. Thanks, Ryan. A lot more stuff coming soon. I have the side skirts and the rear spats to go on. Uh, that's going to get test fit this weekend before they go out for paint. Uh, but again, we just wanted to get some quick roller footage and just see what it looks like. What do you got there? We got the Atomos Ninja V recorder and monitor. Which, uh, we filled up this hard drive from our shoot today, so I'm just going to pop in a new one for you, Coach. Thanks, buddy. So Ant's using that up front with a 10-foot HDMI cord. He made a good point. There's something called a Teradac, right, Ant? Yeah, Teradac is like probably the most popular wireless solution, but with this, we don't have to worry about more batteries or more just... Chance of interference. Chance of something going wrong. So yeah. just pop in the cord, done. Did you say a cord? A cord. Whoa. So uh, let's, see, let's see what the Subaru looks like rolling.
So you guys can can kind of see, but Ant's gonna throw this like throw a little thing for me together, so I can put it in the video. But like that, oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah! Let's go to the real thing. Massive thank you to Ant real quick for doing that. The car looks awesome. What do you think of it, Ant? What do you think? Looks sick. So I'm super stoked because uh, you know I'm building this. It's not the legacy anymore. Ant's gonna put something together real quick for me when he gets home. If you guys have any questions about the rig, feel free to comment below. Uh, shoot me a message if you guys want your car filmed by Ant. Hit him up because he's got a cool car rig. So uh, again, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the video, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Like that. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Smash the MF like button. So uh, yeah. Peace.